The idea of Navy burial dates back to the earliest days of the U.S. Navy, and it continues to be an important part of Navy culture to this day. Burial at sea is a long-standing, time-honored tradition that has been practiced by sailors and mariners for centuries. This traditional ceremony is a way for people to pay their respects to their deceased loved ones in a dignified and meaningful manner. The United States Navy has also continued to honor this tradition by providing a way for service members, veterans, and eligible family members to be laid to rest at sea. The practice of Navy burial at sea is a solemn and respectful ceremony that takes place in the middle of the ocean. The deceased remains are committed to the deep parts of the ocean in a particular way that honors their service and sacrifice. The tradition of Navy burial at sea is a deeply ingrained part of the culture and heritage of the United States Navy. It serves not only as a way to honor and pay respects to those who have served and sacrificed for their country, but it is also a way for the Navy to preserve its rich history and traditions. The ceremony typically begins with a service that includes a reading of the deceased person's name, rank, and service history, as well as a moment of silence in their honor. This is followed by a prayer or benediction, which serves as a final farewell to the person who has passed away. The process then is to get on with the preparation of the remains. Before the ceremony begins, the remains of the deceased are prepared according to Navy regulations and protocols. This process is usually carried out by a team of Navy personnel who are trained in the handling and preparation of remains. This process typically includes embalming, if necessary, to preserve the remains for the ceremony. The remains are then placed in a casket or urn, depending on the preference of the family. The casket or urn is then placed on a platform or in a container that is specifically designed for sea burials. This ensures that the remains are protected and that the ceremony can proceed smoothly. Once the remains have been prepared, the ceremony can commence. The ceremony itself is typically conducted by a chaplain or other religious leader and is attended by the deceased's family, friends, and fellow service members. The chaplain will typically offer a prayer or other religious reading, while the Navy officer will lead the rendering of military honors, such as the playing of taps or the presentation of a flag to the family of the deceased. Navy burials at sea are typically conducted with a small number of attendees, usually limited to the immediate family members and close friends of the deceased. The ceremony is usually conducted on the ship's main deck, with the casket or urn being placed in a position of honor, usually near the ship's flag. The Taps The playing of taps during a Navy sea burial is a long-standing tradition that symbolizes both respect and farewell for the deceased. The origins of taps can be traced back to the American Civil War, when Union Army Brigadier General Daniel Butterfield composed the melody as a signal for lights out. The simple yet haunting tune quickly spread throughout the military and eventually became the standard bogle call for the end of the day. In the context of a sea burial, taps is played as the ship's crew and any attending dignitaries pay their final respects to the deceased. The solemn tone of the melody reflects the solemnity of the occasion as a fallen service member is laid to rest at sea. The playing of taps also serves as a way for the crew to say goodbye to their fallen comrade. For sailors, who often spend months or even years at sea, the crew becomes like a second family. The death of a shipmate is not only a loss for the Navy, but a personal loss to the crew as well. In addition to its role as a symbol of respect and farewell taps, also serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by those who serve in the military. The melody serves as a reminder of the ultimate sacrifice that a service member may make in defense of their country. Overall, the playing of taps during a Navy sea burial is a powerful and meaningful tradition that honors the memory of the fallen ones and allows their shipmates to say goodbye one last time. It serves as a reminder of the sacrifices made by those who serve in the military and the ultimate sacrifice that they have made in defense of their own country. This is a way to honor the service and sacrifice of the deceased sailor and to provide closure for the loved ones left behind. It is a dignified and respectful way to honor those who have served in the United States Navy, and it is a cherished tradition that has been carried out for centuries. It is a reminder of the sacrifices made by the sailors who have served their country and the dedication of the Navy to providing a final farewell to its fallen sailors. The ceremony of committing the remains of a loved one to the sea is a solemn and poignant occasion steeped in tradition and imbued with deep meaning. Rules and Regulations The first step in a burial at sea is to obtain the necessary permits and approvals from the appropriate government agencies. These typically include the U.S. Coast Guard and the Environmental Protection Agency. 
The Navy will also need to obtain permission from the next of kin or legal representative of the deceased person. Once the necessary approvals have been obtained, the Navy will make arrangements for a ship to conduct the burial at sea. The ship will typically be a Navy vessel, such as a destroyer or cruiser, but in some cases, a commercial vessel may be used. The Military Honors Explained The Military Honors typically include a 21-gun salute, which is a traditional show of respect and tribute to the deceased. The playing of taps is also a common feature of the ceremony, with the haunting and melodic sound of the bugle evoking feelings of loss and grief. One of the most poignant moments of the ceremony is the presentation of the American flag to the next of kin, which symbolizes the country's gratitude for the service and sacrifice of the deceased. The remains are then committed to the sea, usually by being lowered into the water from the ship's deck. This act of committing the remains to the sea is an ancient tradition that has been passed down through the generations and is considered to be a final farewell to the deceased. Family members and friends often toss flowers or wreaths into the sea as a final tribute to the deceased, a poignant reminder of the love and affection they held for the person who has passed away. The ship then continues on its mission, symbolizing the continuation of life even in the face of death. For family and friends of the deceased, the burial at sea ceremony provides a way to say a final goodbye to their loved one in a meaningful and respectful manner. It is a way to honor the memory of the person who has passed away and to pay tribute to their service and sacrifice. Environment Friendly The practice of Navy burial at sea is also an environmentally friendly option, as it eliminates the need for burial in a traditional cemetery, which can take up valuable land and resources. The Navy has specific guidelines and protocols for the disposal of cremated remains, which are different from those for whole-body burials. Cremated remains may be scattered at sea, but they must be placed in a biodegradable container and released a minimum of three nautical miles from land. The Navy also has guidelines for the disposal of cremated remains of active duty service members and veterans, which include the use of a burial urn that is specifically designed to disperse the remains in the water. It is important to note that there are federal laws and regulations regarding burials at sea, and the Navy follows these regulations to ensure that burials are conducted in a respectful and environmentally friendly manner. Additionally, it eliminates the need for embalming fluids, which can have a negative impact on the environment. This makes it an ideal choice for those who are concerned about the environmental impact of their funeral arrangements. The Navy also provides a certificate of burial at sea to the family of the deceased which serves as a record of the ceremony and the location of the burial. This certificate can be used for official purposes, such as for the administration of veterans' benefits. Overall, the ceremony of committing the remains to the sea is a simple yet powerful ritual that brings closure to the grieving process and honors the memory of the deceased. It is a fitting final tribute to those who have served their country and their loved ones, and a reminder of the sacrifices made in the name of freedom and liberty. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the bell button to make sure you stay updated on all new videos.